<laughs> we have a giggly bunch. <laughs> Gather together a few preschoolers, mix in an appropriate amount of art supplies, generously sprinkle creativity, and you've got a good recipe for giggles and fun. And fun is the point of the line and form atelier in Indianapolis. It's a freestyle form of creativity inspired by Reggio, an educational philosophy from Reggio Emilia, Italy. Look at the cool jets. They have already come equipped with all of the skills that they would need and it's our job as a teacher to facilitate and help bring out their innate creativity and their gifts that they're naturally born with. <laughs> When I set out materials or a provocation, um, I might have an idea in mind of how those materials could or should be used, um, but then when I sit them down at the table, I'm not instructing them, like, this is how we are going to use this. We want them to really try it out for themselves. I made it so I could like it, and I love it, and it's so much fun, and I like it, and I so want to do it at home. Parents watching the class agree with Cecilia. They've noticed more creative expression from their children after the sessions. Not even just with arts and crafts, but the way he plays with his Legos and other toys, it's, um, it's not so, this is what the toy is made for, so this is what we use it for. He kind of invents his own way of thinking and his own way of playing with his toys. Fran has also seen a need for adult sessions as a way of creative renewal, different from the structured trend of wine and canvas parties. Last week I had a group of teachers, preschool teachers, and we did a project, a collaborative project, and it was just so neat to see them use materials in different ways from what they're used to using them. And it's interesting and really fun to sort of remind adults that they also have those gifts. Sometimes we're like, it's taught out of us, you know, or like they have this idea that art is supposed to be a certain way, and so it's nice to kind of get them back to the basics. Stars and, and plastic. Not only has Stacy Settle signed up Corbin for sessions, she's taken a few of the adult workshops as a way to relax. It's a bit more creative than just like, arts and craft time that you might like the the wine and canvas stuff stuff like that I mean there, that has its place and everything but here it's you know there's something that you truly get to create and if you have questions she'll guide you it turned blue I just say make a mark like and it's the same thing I tell the kids like sometimes it's best you know a white piece of paper or a white canvas can be intimidating and it's best to just make that mark like just get started and then whatever it turns into it turns into it's made for 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 fairies to live in it. Maybe sometimes adults just need to take a page out of Cecilia's recipe book. Painting it and making it, and it was a really a lot, so much fun. For Great Day TV, I'm Joy Hernandez.